Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we are looking at Wildstorm Chamber of Horrors. This is a true hidden gem with some really sick art. Check out this cover by Simon Bisley. Uh, Death Blow on the cover. This is so amazing. A true gem from 90s image comics. Cannot wait to share it with you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. Okay. So, I blame you, James Windsor Smith, my friend, artist James Windsor Smith of uh, Papa Balloon and Cactus fame. Uh, look for his underground indie uh, self-published book that is so amazing. He is always posting art and artists. We have a lot of similar tastes in artists, and he posted a panel from this with the caption, uh, Writes and in Inked by uh, Barry Windsor Smith. So, of course, I was so there for it. Now that's only half true as we will see inside, but I will, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so before we crack this puppy open, check out this dope AF cover by Simon Bisley, Death Blow. I mean, Simon Bisley like was so like amazing in the 90s. He like hit the 90s like the way Bill Sienkiewicz hit the 80s and people just like gag for his art and you know lots of lobo stuff and so amazing so this cover is super cool i love it all right wildstorm chamber of horrors this is like a one-shot anthology like um i guess with like a horror theme obviously so let's look at the credits here this is um a lot of like talent brimming from this okay so warblade written by ron mars um story bernie writes in layouts okay so, uh, Bernie Wrightson is doing the layouts for the story, but it's not inked by Barry Windsor Smith. It is inked by Alex Bialy, who is of the Barry Windsor Smith, uh, studio and did a lot of work with Wildstorm and finishing, um, of, you know, Barry Windsor Smith's art. I believe he did a lot of stuff on Rune when, uh, BWS was at, uh, you know, Malibu and he does very much have like a... Barry Windsor Smith studio style. So his I do like his art. It looks pretty good for being a knockoff or a clone or whatever, but it's not Barry Windsor Smith is the sad part. Okay, so Lee and Clark Colors. Um, Lord Amp by Stephen Grant story. I see like top notch writers here. Trevor Scott art, Gina Going color. Um, Tapestry by Merv story. Who the hell is that? Jason Johnson Pencils, uh, Chris Carlson Inks, Monica Bennett Color, um, Savant by Jeff Marriott Story, Tom Rainey Pencils, Alfa Inks, Gina Going Colors, and the framing pages are by Aaron Weisenfeld Pencils, John Bielli, or John Beatty, forgive me, Alex Garner, and Alfa Inks, Monica Bennett Color. Okay, so we have Warblade here in the graveyard, and this is like the Bernie Wrightson layouts, of course, um, so let's see what we're going to get out of this. Um, very typical of Wildstorm coloring. I mean, the coloring does look good. It's a little too saturated. It's a little too dark. It always was for me, even back then. And now I just think you have all this gorgeous art and you're like muting it and muddying it up with these like super like dark, like way too much shading here. I mean, you're destroying this beautiful art. I would love to see it in black and white. Actually, the picture that James uh, posted was in black and white. And once we get to the panel, you can see why I may have been duped. Okay. But, I mean, come on. We have rights and layouts here on a Wildstorm book. This is just craziness. And, obviously, this is, like, to I mean, you can see the rights and right in here. I mean, obviously, you just have layouts, and then you have a knockoff of Barry Windsor Smith coming in and finishing it. So, it's kind of crazy all around, right? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this just is very, like, 90s coloring. Like, oh my gosh, you're, like, coloring Barry Windsor Smith layouts, and you're doing this, like, just horrifying. I don't know. I just does not look good to me. Um, have we gotten to that panel yet? I guess not. But, I mean, you cannot deny that this art looks pretty freaking cool, though, right? I mean, obviously, uh, you're not going to be working in Barry Windsor Smith's studio if you don't know how to ink somewhat. And I think this is the panel that James posted that 
sucked me in because I mean, you could easily think that that looks that was uh, inked by Barry Winter Smith, perhaps. I don't know. I love this page here, this uh, like room that they're in. This is so cool. This is such a great like uh, ending page. I love this so much. I would love to see the original layouts. Um, perhaps they're online. I'm sure they are. Right? Everything is, huh? Um, Lord Amp. The art in here is not bad. This story is kind of crazy. Um, reminded me of a creep show in a lot of ways. I like this panel here. Living in uh, Los Angeles, I uh, always love seeing, um, you know, panels that take place in Los Angeles and that look pretty accurate like that. Looking down in the city, that's uh, from the hills. Uh, that seems pretty on point to me. And Amp is on the date with this crazy woman who's, it is just so funny. Actually, it just, the the story here, let's face it, is not gonna win any Eisners, um, but it was still fun nonetheless. I like I like these random like offshoot books and these just like, and like fun anthologies for like no reason. Um, you know, a lot of the artists were kind of like, this might've been some of their first gigs and stuff. I feel like this is Aaron Weisenfeld, maybe. Uh... What on earth? Oh, Cybernary, I remember that. And this is just, you know, when people just had bare butts in comic books. It was the 90s, it was the bad girl era, you know. I'm not sure how I feel about this page. I mean, our Aaron Weisenfeld is an amazing artist, but I think it's the coloring that's throwing me off. It looks kind of putrid. Like this coloring looks hella crazy. I'm not, not loving that. And I feel like this, yeah, this is an early Tom Rainey. It's interesting to see his, the evolution of his style because uh, this is looking pretty rough. But I mean, you see the potential. And then Lady Death shows up. I mean, for no reason, I guess. I don't, this wasn't the strongest story in the book. I felt like the other two were kind of better. This is like some weird witch hunt story. And then we get this random like page, like, give me a break. Like, I feel, <laughs> I feel like they're like, just draw a pretty picture. We'll work it in somehow. Okay, there you go. Um, but this is still a fun comic book. I still like it. I actually love the art on that panel in this page. It's a little... Travis Charre E A. That's a cool page too. Interesting. I mean, the story is just like kind of whatever, but still fun nonetheless. A little hidden gem of the inevitable point in an image comics review when I have to turn the book sideways. That's cool. I'm down for this. I would like, oh, I was going to say they should do a new one, but Wildstorm doesn't really exist anymore, does it? But that cover, could you imagine? Okay, so, man, I wonder if anybody has this. Uh, you should go look for it on eBay if you're a Simon Bisley fan. A chromium glow in the dark Simon Bisley poster of this. I mean, I want that, like, right now. How cool is that? <clears throat> anyway, oh, look, live at Golden Apple, my comic book store, Melrose Avenue. Um, one of my comic book stores. Um, because I'm a comic book ho. Sam Keith's The Max, Gen 13 The Max. I remember that. Tom Coker. I love Tom Coker's art. Very cool. Anyway, Wildstorm, Chamber of Horrors. If I recommend this if you're a freaking Bernie Wrightson fan, Simon Bisley fan, horror fan, Wildstorm fan, Deathblow fan. You catch my drift. You feel me? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I'll bring you more later.